We come to worship you, Lord Jesus, today. Thank you for being our Yeshua. Wow. Everybody ready to worship? Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord, for your saving grace, your great redemption. You were everything you said you would be. The prophets in the Old Testament and what you spoke in the New Testament, you lied about nothing. You didn't even sin and you gave your, gave your life for mine. And today we sing. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your presence. in your presence I love you come on sing it out with me today I love I love I love your presence Jesus yeah yeah I love I love yeah yeah I love your presence my God, yeah, I love, I love, I love you, Jesus, I love, I love, I love your presence. never in doubt my God yeah let go of your heart let go of your head and feel his presence right now let go of your heart let go of your head can you feel it can you feel it can you feel It's wonderful. I love, I, we love your person in your presence. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love you, Jesus. I love, I love. Oh, there's a verse. Let's do it together. Check it out. Hear the lyrics. In the glory, in the wonderful, powerful glory of your presence, I find rest. In the glory of your
your presence I find rest Oh, can you feel the shalom for my soul In the depths Of your great and holy love Your great and holy love Your great and holy love I find peace and shalom I find your peace and shalom You make me whole Yeah You make me whole Right here, right now You make me love and joy and peace and goodness and mercy love and joy and peace and goodness and mercy yeah i love i love we love your presence lord we love, we love, we love your presence, we love, we love, we love you, Jesus, we love your presence I can't stop I can't stop praising your name I can't stop I can't stop praising your name I can't stop I can't stop praising your name because of your goodness your great goodness I can't stop I can't stop I'm praising your name I can't stop I can't stop Lord Praising your name I can't stop I can't stop Come on lift it up before heaven right now Because of your great goodness Because of your great goodness I can't stop I can't stop I'm praising your name Well I can't stop can't stop I'm praising your name I can't stop I can't stop praising your name because of your great goodness there it is your great goodness we can't stop we can't stop I'm praising your name we can't stop we can't stop lifting our hands and praising your name we can't stop yeah, we can't stop praising your name. I can't stop. I'm not willing to stop praising you. I'm willing to praise and worship you. I'm not willing to stop praising anytime soon for your glory, oh Lord. Holy Holy Jesus, you yeah. We worship and adore you, Jesus. Come on, every hand up. Worship and glorify the Lord. The King of glory is in the midst. The King of glory is in your house. Oh, the King of Majesty is here again. I love, I love. 
your sweet person and your sweet presence, Jesus. I love, I love, yeah, but I love you, Jesus. I love, I love, yeah, I love your presence, because if you want it, we'll come and give crying out loud this love that you have you've given to me it was never in doubt I love that so let go of your heart come on let go of your head and feel this the depth of his presence right now yeah let go of your heart, give it to him. Let go of your head and worship right now. Cause if you want it, if you want it, if you want it, cause if you want it, well come and get it for crying out loud. The love that you have, Lord, you've given to me. Your love was never in doubt, never in doubt. So let go of your heart, let go of your head in his presence and feel it right now. I said, let go of, give him your heart and turn over your head, your mind. sing on <laughs> except we're here with Psalm 57 I want you to get your Bibles if you have a printed published copy look at it with your little eyeballs get your media device Psalm 57 grace completion 57 grace completion it's grace completion. Psalm 57 already stands in the numbers in Hebraic numerology. This has got grace on it. It's got completion on it. Psalm 57. Maybe no one's ever told you to think of the numbers that way. The numbers of the Jewish New Year are the same way. You can look at those at Psalms. I mean, I've done it for years, but here we go. In the shadow of your wings, Lord. My soul takes refuge in you. I love this slow, dramatic, 
narration of the Word of God. I love this personally. I listen back to these. I'm so glad to have the book of Psalms mark my life all 48 years I've known the Lord. <laughs> Are you so grateful for the Psalms and two, 3,000 years ago, lyrics and poetry and music as Psalms that are still speaking directly to our spirit today. Here we go. Father, we pray heaven's rain on your word and deep revelation. Just cause heaven's rain to be on this today, Lord. We pray for Psalm 57, put it deep in our spirit. We've hidden your word in our heart and our mind that we might not sin against you, Lord. Thank you, Father, in Yeshua's name. Jesus. Verse 1. Be merciful to me, O oh God. I ask you, be merciful to me. For my soul trusts in you. Thank you, Lord, that in the shadow of your wings, wait a minute, in the shadow of your wings, I will make my refuge. Wow, that is rest. That is the help of the Lord. And in the shadow, wow, of your wings, Lord. Like the little chicks, Jesus even said it over Jerusalem, I would take you as chicks under my wings. So in the shadow, oh boy, this is alive today, of your wings, I will make my refuge declaration, period, at the end of the sentence. Oh, it's a comma because until these calamities pass by, new King James, thank you, until these storms and these calamities have passed by. What, Mr. Psalmist, way to go, where he said, I'm getting under the shadow of your wings and I'll make my refuge there until, because he said, by faith I know. Oh, by faith I know these calamities will pass by. That is really awesome right there until these violent storms, one of the other translations says, new living. Be merciful. The, new, new, the NIV says, be gracious to me in place of mercy. I like mercy, it's a little bit stronger for me, but so verse one, Psalm 57, be gracious to me, oh God, be gracious to me. For my soul takes, same word, refuge. You're my giant tree house and the biggest tree in the forest. Nobody can touch me under the shadow of your wings. You're my mighty fortress up on top of the mountain in the cleft of the rock. My soul takes refuge in you, Lord. Again, in the shadow of your wings, I will take refuge. Get ready. Listen closely until destruction passes by. Wow, what a promise. It's right here in Psalm 57. Until disaster has passed by. Until destruction and disaster has passed by, I'll be in the shadow of your wings in my refuge in you. I always think when we cross over, we're going to see how the Lord caused destruction and disaster. It was one minute ahead of us, or it was three minutes behind us, or the Lord covered us and he sent angels. I mean, I believe there's so much protection in the Lord. And I think of the blood on the doorpost of Egypt. The death angel came, but he's, he saw the blood the blood of the lamb on the doorpost. It's on you today. We have the blood of the great sacrificial lamb on us, in our spirit, on our hearts. So have mercy, oh God, have mercy. 
for I look to you for my protection. This is a New Living Translation. I will hide beneath, there it is, hide. I will make my hiding place beneath the shadow of your wings until the violent storm is past. The DeWitt and the Harrison translation, old school say, for in thee, O God, my soul finds shelter. My, I have shelter in you. Check this out till the deadly danger passes by. Thank you, Lord. We believe your word. We have faith in verse one in your Bible in the book of Psalms. Until calamities pass by, first category. Destruction, number two, passes by. Number three, disaster passes by. I'll be under the shadow of your wings until the deadly dangers and the violent storm is passed. There I have my refuge. Verse 2, I will cry out. I'm crying out to you, God Most High. Get this, to the God who performs all things for me. You're, you're at hand and on hand, Lord. Check this verse 2 out. I will cry out to God Most High because you perform all things for me. That's his, he is our help. Psalm 121, I looked into the mountains and what did I see? There's no help there for me. And David said, David said, now I know my help comes from the Lord. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for giving us your heart. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth to one small title, right? The maker of heaven and earth. I cry out to God most high, to the God who, check this out, accomplishes all things for me. Again, proof that he's your helper. To God who fulfills his purpose for me. He's the finisher of all things for me. That's actually said in Hebrews about your faith. Jesus is the author and perfecter, the finisher, the Amplified Bible says. Isn't this awesome? I cry out to God most high, to God who accomplishes all things for me, to the God who finishes out all things for me. I pray to the most high God, this God who has befriended me, that's a Knox translation. You did what, Lord? Well, I befriended you. I made you my son and daughter, but you're also my friend. When you do the work and the will of the Father, the living word abides in you, he said. I befriended you. I was, I was friendless, so to speak, in the world. Oh, people like me because I sang or because I did stuff for them. It's the same for everybody. You do stuff. But he said, I made you my son and daughters by my blood and by the cross and I befriended you. <laughs> Let's feel the hug of the Lord. That is so rich right there. You are my accomplishing God. Now there's a phrase from the Spurl translation. You're my accomplishing God and the God who takes care of me completely. You take care of me completely, Lord. Psalm 5, 7, grace and completion. Here it is. The easy to read version says, and you're the God who takes care of me completely. Verse 3, you, you shall send from heaven and save me. Yes. You reproach the one who would swallow me up. Selah, pause and reflect and meditate on this so far. God, you send forth your mercy and your truth. Two giant things. You send forth, past tense, you send forth 
your mercy, what's present tense actually, your mercy and your truth, empty mercy and truth. You will send from heaven and save me. You reproach him who tramples upon me. You will send help from heaven and save me, taking me from the power of him who desi whose desire is for my destruction. Oh, the living Jesus, the Lamb of God did this. The devil desires to destroy you completely. You can't have me. You can't have my friends. We're marked by the blood. We're called by his name. Ha, that's what you get. Oh my God. He said, you, you rescued me from the power of him. Oh man. And I knew it. I knew somebody was set against me. I didn't know, I, before I was saved, I went, man, the darkness is not good. I got somebody chasing me or somebody pursuing me, somebody trying to take my life. You kind of instinctively know that and then Woo! You give your heart to the Lord, and then you're touched by the, you're filled, filled with the Holy Spirit. And it lifts. The chasing is over. There's no more pursuit of you trying to destroy your life. That's a word for a number of people on this stream. It's over. He totally annihilated the, that which people, the desire to, for destruction, he annihilated that ability of our enemy to destroy us. Yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. Huh. You rescued me from those who are out to get me. And Selah, again, pause, reflect, and let the music play so we can get the revelation. Uh uh. Finally, verse 3, from heaven, he will send a father's help to save me. There it is, the passion. He sent a father's help. Even if you didn't have a good father, even if you did, this is a true category where I'm sending you, Kent, the father's help. I am a father. I'm Abba, Heavenly Father. I'm giving you a, a caring father's help. He will trample down those who trample me, pause in his presence he will always show me love you're gracious and here's a phrase constant care hmm? wow. you'll always show me love lord only you can do this you show me your love by gracious and con i do feel constantly cared for I mean, I'm older in the Lord. I'm a veteran believer. Not much moves Carla and I out of the way <laughs> anymore. We've been through the fire. We've been through the flood. We've been around the mountain about a thousand times. And here we are, Lord, in your constant care. Verse 4. The psalmist said, it's serious. I'm sharing my life and my heart with you in verse 4. My soul is among lions. What? Well, my soul is among lions. What a statement. I lie among the sons of men who are set on fire, whose spears, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue is a sharp sword. Oh, you've known this. You've had enemies, young or old, doesn't make any difference how old you are. I'm surrounded by lions. I lie in a den of ravenous beasts. This is about as far as you can get, isn't it? I'm lying down among people that are breathing fire. Men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongues are sharp edged swords. Wow, pretty graphic. Enemies like fierce lions are all around surrounding me, but he has delivered my life from the vicious as I have slept. Their teeth pierce like spears and arrows, their tongues cut like swords, but check it out. I'm surrounded by these fierce and brutal men. They're like lions just wanting to tear me to shreds. We rebuke it, Father. We lambast it in the name of Jesus with the power of the blood, the cross, and the word of God. 
stop it. If you've been in this place, maybe for a few weeks, a few days, or you've had enemies like breathing fire, rebuke it, deal with it by the name, the, the name that's above fierce and brutal men. We say the name of Jesus is above our enemies. We can rebuke it. We can declaratively set it off to the side, move it out of the way. They're like lions just wanting to tear me to shreds. Why must I continue to live among these seething terrorists, breathing out their angry threats and insults against me? At least we know the psalmist was being honest. I've had days like this, so have you. But it's how we respond with the name, the blood, and the cross that makes a difference. Now check this out. Look at me. Verse 4 into 5 is huge because he goes, you know what? He jumps back into praise. He goes, I'm telling you my condition. But all of a sudden, he does a giant leap into verse 5. Be exalted above the highest heavens, O God. Let your glory shine above all the earth. He's actually doing what I just said. He's praying and worshiping, jumping over the seething lions, the fierce lions. He went right back into praise, right back into worship. Be exalted. What? Be exalted, O oh God. Let your glory shine above all the earth. Be exalted, O oh God. Be exalted, O oh God. Let your glory shine above all the earth be exalted be exalted oh God let your glory shine above all the earth think of it he goes from verse 4 to verse 5 important point let us be just like the psalmist here God you are in supreme you're supreme over the skies and your majesty covers the earth. Oh God, be lifted up above the heavens. May your gl glory cover the earth. May you, my God, be honored above all of the heavens and may your glory be seen everywhere on earth. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. Oh God, be lifted up. What a great thought, a great lyric a great scripture, a great prayer. Oh God, I'm asking you to be lifted up higher than the heavens and even in my life right now. And love this one. Let your shining greatness be above all the earth. I'm thinking on it right now, Lord. Your great shining greatness above all the earth. Your glory extended above the whole earth. Lord God, be exalted as you soar throughout the heavens. May your shining glory be seen in the skies and let it be see, seen high above all the earth. Isn't it lovely to sing this stuff? Remember, these are songs of deep worship, songs of the heart, songs of prayer. Wow, it's awesome. Verse 6. Scroll that up, man. Oh, he continues. Isn't it funny? He tells you at verse four, I got lions on me. <laughs> Five, he's worshiping. Back to six. Well, let me tell you a little bit more <laughs> about what's happened in my life. Okay. They prepared a net for my steps, a trap for me. My soul is actually bowed down and I'm weary from distress. I need that one there. Yeah. I'm weary from distress. They have dug a deep pit in my path, but they themselves have fallen into it. The Lord found a way. I find this very powerful. They prepared a net for my steps and they had a trap for me. My soul is bowed down and I'm actually weary, weary with distress. But And they dug a deep pit for my path, but they themselves fell into it. Whoa. Enemies set traps for my feet and struck me down, and they dug a pit in my path, but they fell in it themselves. And 
they booby trap my path. I mean, sometimes you have felt this in your life, workers, coworkers, or relatives, or somebody didn't like you. Did, did somebody said booby traps my path this week? Well, kind of, yeah, yeah, they did. I thought I was dead and done for. <laughs> they dug a man trap to catch me, but they fell in headlong themselves. They fell into their own trap. For they set a trap for me, fear has overwhelmed me. But look, the very trap they set for me has sprung shut upon themselves instead of me. That's a promise as well that, Lord, we're going to have an enemy show up and, you know, try to do things. And the Lord said, I'm going to come and help you. They'll fall in their own traps. Okay, Lord. So now he goes back to praise and worship again. Four, telling you about my life. Five, let me worship. And, you know, or, or yeah. And now verse six, hey, more about my life. But verse seven, I'll go slow on purpose. My heart is fixed on you, oh God. My heart is fixed. So I will sing, yes, I will give praise. My heart is fixed, oh God, on you, irregardless of what happens in my day or in my night. My heart is confident in you, oh God. Verse 7, no wonder I can sing your praises. That's right. They're not going to shut my mouth, and I will continue to sing your praises and worship you, almighty God. I will sing, yes, and I will play music, yes, for you, my God. And my heart is steady. My heart cannot be moved because of you, Lord. New century version, new life Bible. My heart is steady, O oh God. My heart will not be moved. So what are you going to do? I'm going to raise a tune. I'm going to get my little 10-string harp and I'm going to start making melody, and I'm going to strike the strings of my... It says, I will touch the strings of my harp and strike the chords. You know, that's your spirit as well. You, you don't need a, a, an instrument. You can, you can play the strings of your heart and sing to them. It's so wonderful and powerful. I don't know why more people have never even heard the teaching on it. So I will raise a tune. I will make melody. I will touch the strings and strike the chords. I am so glad. The Lord gave me a music gift in my mother's womb. He gave me a, a gift I've used all my life, first for myself and for other people, 13 to 19. And then I got saved and spirit filled, and I gave all my gifts to the Lord. It's so cool. I'm so glad I can, I can do this scripture. I can raise a tune. I can make melody and touch the strings of my instruments, guitar or piano, basically, and strike chords and make music. Make music. Make music unto my King. You see, my heart, oh God, is quiet and confident. Now I can sing with passion your wonderful praises three times your wonderful praises this is so good I'm now singing with passion your wonderful pra praises that are full of wonder because of who you are praises that are full of wonder verse 8 so awaken my glory okay awaken my harp and my lyre I will awaken the dawn even though I was up most of the night I got my instrument. I will awaken the sunrise with my song of praise. What? Verse 8, I feel wide awake. I will wake up my harp and wake up the sun. <laughs> Pretty clear. Got my harp and started strumming it and awaken the sun. Wake up my soul. Awake, awake my whole being and harps and lutes. Begin your music. Make the music instrument sound forth it should be a rap song <laughs> harps and lutes begin your music make the music instrument sound forth 
for I will awaken the dawn with my song. It's just totally poetic. It's built for a song lyric. It is a song. I will awaken the dawn with my, my song, so I will stir the morning with praise. What? What a scripture. I will stir the morning with my praise and I'm going to do atmospheric change with my praise and worship. You don't have to you don't have to have an instrument. Do it. You can do it with your song, with your voice. I'm stirring the morning atmospheric change with my praise. To, with the wonderful praises, it's stirring the morning. And then verse 9, further, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I'm taking it out with my buds and my friends at the temple, at my church, at my Bible study. Now, I've been all alone, but now I'm taking my harp. I'm giving thanks to you, O Lord, amongst the peoples. I will praise you, Lord, in front of all the people. You know, people say, Ken, you know, do you ever get nervous or... I said, not really, because I've been in front of people in a lead singer in a band when I was 13. I've been on platforms my whole life. Matter of fact, I'm glad I have been in the, in the Lord because then I, all the Lord, he gets all the glory. I, I could care less about the flattery of men or, hey, can you did a great job. Well, was the anointing there? Was his presence released? Because it's really not about me. It's about him. And so I was in front of the people. What were you doing? Well, I took my harp and my lute and I awakened the dawn, the dawn, and I awakened, and then I went out in front of the people. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. I will praise you, Lord, in front of all the people. I will praise you, Lord, for everyone to hear. Everyone will sing. We're going to join together. Hymns to you in every nation. I'm still waiting for it. I want to see every tribe Every tongue, every nation, every dialect. I'm living for the day. I'm 69 turning 70 in a couple months here. I'm going, hey, been leading worship for 47, 48 years. And I want to see every tribe and every tongue and every nation. This says the boys, we're going to be singing hymns and songs to you. Kiss, kiss from the Lord, every tribe every tongue, every nation. The song of Mexico is coming forth full of his glory. The song of Africa will be heard all over the world. The song of the Irish and the Scottish singers will be heard. It's going to be South Africa, South America, Colombia, Peru. The song of the Lord, of the glory, and the songs of heaven will come out of every nation. How do you know that, Kent? Because it's in the Word. He said it in Revelation 4 and 5. I have purchased this by my blood. I bought with my blood men, women, teenagers, and children, babies from every tribe, tongue, and nation. This is for free right here, baby. This says this in the New English Bible. I will confess you, Lord, among the peoples. Amazing. I will confess you in my songs. And in my praise and worship, O oh Lord, among the peoples and among the nations, peoples and nations, let's do it. Let's support missionaries to get out there to every nation. I will raise up my psalm to thee, singing songs all about you. There it is. New English Bible, New Century Version. I'm raising a psalm to thee every day. It could be in private devotion. It could be at my Bible study. And among the nations, I'm singing songs all about you. It's not all about me. That's what's wrong with every generation. They start focusing on themselves. Almost every generation, it's the same thing. It's all about me. I'm pretty cool over here, and I'm pretty this and that. And I go, hey, wait a minute. I want to sing songs all about my Savior and Redeemer. Wherever I go, then, Lord, I will thank you, my God. Among all the nations, they will hear my praise songs to you. Eleven verses, two left. Wow. Among all the nations, they will hear my praise songs to you. So, verse 10, your loving kindness is great to the heavens. Your truth 
to the clouds, Lord. It's really unmeasurable. I love this phrase, unfailing love. What, what do you have, Lord? Wow, you have, it's unfailing love. Friends might fall out. Somebody might, you know, a coworker may not be, you know, whatever your, your world is. But he says, can I have unfailing love for you? And I am so glad for your unfailing love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. And your love reaches higher than the heavens. The voice says, your loyalty. It replaces faithfulness or unfailing love with loyalty. Your loyalty extends beyond the clouds. So again, the voice, your love reaches higher than the heavens and your loyalty extends beyond the clouds for, for your tender mercy is great. Can't get over it and don't want to. A whole category called tender mercy or tender mercies, it's plural. Your tender mercy. You hold your baby. You hold your toddler, your elementary school child. They know your tender mercies. His are so great. They're stretching to the heavens and then your righteousness with your truthfulness unto the skies. Your love is so extravagant. My friend Daryl Evans wrote that your love is extravagant right out of this psalm, Psalm 57. Your love is so extravagant going beyond all boundaries. Whatever we had set up, it makes no difference. He said, uh, my Lord, your love is so extravagant. It reaches. I love this word extravagant. It reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness is astonishing because it reaches to the sky. So hear it all together. Your love is so extravagant. It reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness so astonishing because it reaches to the sky, passion translation. In verse 11, the final verse of Psalm 57, isn't this great? I mean, there's a couple, you know, a few long Psalms, but these are knowable. You can memorize them. You can memorize verses. 11 profound verses, and he goes back to exalting the Lord. It's now a prayer in a song. Be exalted. Be exalted, O Lord. High above the heavens, O God. Be exalted. Be exalted. Let your glory shine above all the earth. Be exalted. Be exalted. Let your glory shine above the heavens, Lord. Be exalted. You are exalted. Let your glory shine above all the earth. God, you are supreme over the skies. Your majesty covers the earth. We say yes. May you, my God, be honored above all the heavens and May your glory be seen everywhere. We use this as a prayer point in intercession. The psalmist says your glory will be seen everywhere on the earth. We're saying yes to that prayer and promise, Lord. Your glory will be seen everywhere in my lifetime, after my lifetime. It's true, straight up. Your glory will be seen everywhere on the earth. The Bible in basic English and the New Life Bible say, Oh God, be lifted up. Be lifted up higher than the heavens. 
and let your shining greatness be above all the earth. Let your glory extend and be extended over the whole earth. Finally, Lord God, be exalted as you soar through the heavens. May your shining glory be seen in the skies. Let it be seen high above all the earth. This is the reading of Psalm 57. So, Father, we close out just for today. You're calling us the beloved. I hear you say in the spirit, you're calling each and every one of us your beloved. I am my beloved's and you are mine, Lord. I am the Lord's beloved and Lord, you're my beloved. And you said you would lead us and guide us into all the truth by the power of your Holy Spirit. So we seal this time up now in the name of Jesus. We seal this up. And Psalm 57 stands in the annals of time as a great mercy psalm, a psalm of grace and completion, Psalm 57. Let us see it for all of its power and everything that you intended for us, you've intended for us in our life, in this hour and in our lifetime, we pray now. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, so be it. Amen and <laughs> so be it. Isn't it awesome, man? I love these psalm narrations. Well, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate your prayers. Please keep praying for us. I'm in the middle of the research and development of songs in the night, uh, you know, releasing people from their anxiety and their fear. It's pretty powerful stuff. I praise God for it. Thank you for your prayers and all of your support right now. You can, any offering you give, I'm receiving a seed money into the project that I believe it'll be multiplied 10, 20, 30 times over. We're going to see it happen and touch hundreds of thousands of people. So there it is. It's never goodbye. It's to be continued. I say shalom, shalom. May the peace of Yeshua Messiah be upon us now. We're walking in it day by day. In Jesus' name. God bless you guys. I'll see you real soon.